Well, guys, so I got a quick update here with this circuit. It is really good. That's about all I can say. Here's the output and here's the input. Hardly even shows it went down so much. Like when I started running it, it was somewhere around uh, a watt going in. Like 0.8 of a watt or so. And this was closer to 3 watts. I had ran it a bit, like that was over 7 hours ago I ran it last night a bit. And turn it on again here today, but this is constantly going up. The output battery is probably about 50% charge. It's that one there, 26.6 volts. This, this is 3.326 volts, and it's just measuring this one cell right here. And the negative is right there, which goes to here, and there's the positive. So it's, it's a good way to see your voltage increase, like if one cell's doing that and they're all doing that type of thing. Just that you have the extra number here with these meters. This one here has been like this for, for most of the day here. Most of the whole time. Look at level, it, like, my first turn it on was at 3285. And then it went down to 3. 0.28 and it's taken like over seven hours for it to go down to 3.279 but what I have here is this circuit and I realized I made a mistake on this circuit when I showed you guys I forgot to put a piece in here this is a big reason why I'm making this video hope you guys didn't make this and then have problems with it because right here I didn't have this in here this is a 33k resistor this circuit doesn't have the read switch but you can put one in it doesn't matter this was 8k and I changed it down to 2k I think you'll get better efficiencies with a 2k resistor here and also, what I'm seeing a lot with this is don't use shot key diodes. Shot key diodes don't work for this. You'd think they'd work better, but they don't. They don't work at all. You don't get any of the the over unity effects with shot key diodes. Like I have this 20 amp one right here. It's a really good. 200 volt 20 amp diode using this does not work I've got other shot key diodes that don't work I've tried all sorts of them the ones that work are the thousand volt it's just sitting here I'm looking for them on my bench here the part number it's Like most of these ones are gonna work. These are thousand volt. These are thousand volt. These are one amp diodes. And the ones I'm using are one point five amps. Right here to five three nine nine. But what I do is I parallel four of them together. In the circuit now. Right there you can see they're all parallel together. gray is facing that way and this side of the diode goes to the output right here which is the positive out and the, this side of the diode is right here on the negative of the motor or coil call it 
And this is just your standard uh, transformer out of a like an amplifier, like say a 600 watt amp for your house stereo, and it's on the 120 side. But right away, very soon there will be a video here of me taking this whole thing. There'll be nothing. It'll be just a clear slate, and I'll bring each piece in. I'll put one battery there, you know, put the other battery there. I'll bring the transformer in separately. I'll bring the circuit in separately. And I'll have my phone or camera on the tripod. And you'll see every part of it going together. And then I will turn the, the circuit on and you will see how it works. And I'll have rested batteries too. They will have been resting overnight when I make it. You can see there it's trying to go up. The input doesn't move. It's put 2 watt hours in. And it's put out 11 watt hours on the output. And you can see most of the time it's zero. It's so low it doesn't even register on the meter. And here's the scope shot. Just using the top one. 2.4 kilohertz. That's where I get the best results is anywhere from 2 to 3 kilohertz. But this is going up steadily. This one doesn't move. But I just, I really wanted to show that mistake I made on that. I just forgot to put that stuff in there and I did change those values to 2k resistor right here which is the goes to the gate of the transform of the transistor it's a really simple circuit but thanks for watching and I will make that video soon guys